Welcome to another episode of One or More, where I try to make you laugh one or more times. Keep in mind, I am an amateur. So let's get started. On Monday, Chinese officials reassured the public that the new anal swab coronavirus test will not make you waddle like a penguin after the exam. In fact, there's no need to stick the swab into your anus at all. To make things run even smoother, Chinese officials recommend eating a whole order of spicy chicken nuggets from McDonald's, and after your ass explodes, they'll simply be able to swab your entire backside and thighs without even nearing the anus. <laughs> However, Chinese officials did say they have larger anal swabs for the American tourists looking to take selfies in front of the shuttered Wuhan wet market. President Biden is only on his 10th day in office and already invokes unity by inviting 10 Republicans to the White House to sit and compromise on the historic stimulus package. Meanwhile, in Florida, former President Trump just hung up with American Airlines customer service in a fit of rage after failing to secure a first-class seat for Mike Pence. <laughs> Many people are worried the Nor'easter hitting the Northeast will shut down coronavirus vaccination sites and increase the spread of the coronavirus. Although my biggest concern is the two feet of snow may bury little Anthony Fauci. A huge piece of California's Highway 1 near Big Sur did its best impression of former President Trump's legal team and collapsed. Yep, it seems five lawyers from Trump's legal team unexpectedly quit. They unexpectedly quit after realizing they had a small fortune of GameStop stock. Again, over the weekend... Former President Trump received some bad news when five members of Trump's legal team left with little more than a week to go before the trial. The good news is, is 55 Republican senators led by Senator Rand Paul joined Trump's legal team. <laughs> Finally, in business news, Kraft recently announced its new pink candy-flavored macaroni and cheese just in time for Valentine's Day. The new flavor stunned many people, but activists across the country were applauding the news. They say they're happy the pink-flavored macaroni and cheese has decided to come out and live its true self. <laughs> that is the news and jokes for February 2nd. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if I made you laugh once, then please hit that like button. If I didn't make you laugh, don't comment, Damien. All right, be safe, and I'll see you again tomorrow.